Monday, November 7th, and this is Geek Nights. Tonight, we'll be discussing window managers and some other crap. Let's do this. Ha 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 ha. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. So, Paris is still burning. Wait, it's not burning like in the old nah, days. Nah, the picture on the news right now shows uh, something burning. Yeah, okay. So, there, it's not burning down like when they burn the whole thing down. No, there's no uh, Bastille going down yet. But, I mean, people are burning a lot of cars and houses. Yeah, they finally killed someone. Okay, they got one guy. Great. Though, apparently, the only real news now is that... Oh, wait, wait, wait. The police got someone? No, no. Some kids killed an old man. Oh. They beat him up while he was trying to put out a trash fire. Oh, I thought the police finally killed one rioter. No, they've arrested thousands. It's not doing anything. Oh, okay. No Do they have a jail that big? I don't know what they're doing. Do they reopen them. the Bastille? The news isn't so informative. The only real news is that the rioting has spread to uh, Belgium and apparently some German suburbs now, too. I don't think it's that widespread there because I was listening to another podcast. A guy's in Belgium today. Oh, no, it's not because and... both of those countries reacted immediately. No, oh, okay. Yeah. Rioting. Poor people. Yeah. I mean, everyone's. A lot of people in the news are trying to blame this on the Muslims who are rioting and the North Africans who are rioting, but. The only common thread is that they're all poor. If you're poor, you don't have a job, you got nothing to do, you got no money, you riot. Uh, or you do something else. Uh, so worse, almost as bad as rioters is SEO. So what do they do now? So SEO has demanded from IBM information about Linux kernel version 2.7. Because that exists. That's the story. I want 2.7. I want that information now, too. Well, it, so far, they've discussed it on the mailing list. Uh, there isn't, I don't think, a single line of code in it. <laughs> there's no 2.7. There's uh, a theoretical 2.7. There's a th theoretical 9. Yep. Uh, you know... I'd love to be there physically at the trial when I, mean, I could see SEO standing there and they've, they've made their claim and they, know, they say what they want. And then the IBM guy stands up and says, that doesn't exist. You might as well have asked me for the uh, flying spaghetti monster's noodly appendage. <laughs> but the flying mon the spaghetti monster is real. <laughs> Damn straight. Uh. Yeah, though that stupid intelligent design trial is over. It's over. It's over. Well, if it's over, how can the judge hasn't said anything? Because now yet? the judge is sitting in his room thinking about whether he's going to side with science or uh, crazy. How, what takes him so long to think? How, you're a judge. You, you've heard everything. There's nothing new to hear. Maybe he only works, like, Monday through Friday, so he had the weekend off, and now he's going to make his decision today, and he'll say it tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, it was Oh, so he's going to say it on a different day than he comes up with it? I don't know. I don't know how that works. I think he's a lazy judge trying to get a little vacation. Yeah, the only funny thing that came out of it was that the Vatican came out and said that ID is crap. I don't know if that was just one. No, I don't know the, if that was, was the, the Vatican vote. or it just the a official, guy. It is the official position of the Vatican unless the Pope says otherwise. Yeah. Man, you know, there's a story about it on Slashdot. I scrolled down. Yeah. And there was one guy who was like, you know, I'm an ID proponent, whatever. Everyone else was just like, science, woot! Right? Uh -huh. But even that guy didn't know what ID he didn't know what ID was, and he was a proponent of it. <laughs> he just Great. didn't get it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, some people are that way about Darwinism. All are also they're opponents of it, and they don't know what it is. People tend to be opponents of things that they don't really understand. It's because they think they understand them, and they're proponents of what they think. Anyone's a proponent of what they think. Yeah, because uh, I'm very much a fan of Rim is awesome ice. You think wrong. Who is that? I don't know. That's good. That means we don't have to uh, pay attention. It's someone local. I have no idea who it is. I'll just... Yeah. Screw it. Anyway. We'll have to cut that out or something. I don't know. Yeah. We could leave it. It doesn't matter. So that guy was on death row. Okay. So a guy was on death row. What did he do? He escaped. No, no. I mean, what did he do to get on death row? I don't know. I didn't read that part. I mean, is this a real murder ten kids? Oh yeah, he was he was a bad guy. Okay, no doubt, okay. no doubt. Anyway, but he escaped. They they thought that they, like someone helped him escape, like this anti death row group. But they they were acquitted. They didn't do anything. Uh huh. This guy just like I don't, I think he walked out like in I don't know how he got out. But anyway, he was on the run. 
So they made a huge manhunt, of course, which is what they should do. Yeah. And they got him. He was drunk in a phone booth. Awesome. Because, you know, when I escape from prison, I'm going to get drunk and hang out in phone booths where I won't get caught. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would have gone one step further. I mean, you could have gone to Mexico. Put out the classified ad, you know. Hey, escaped uh, serial killer looking for some, I don't know, whatever escaped serial killers are looking for. I'd just go to freaking Mexico or something where they couldn't get me. I wouldn't hang around and get drunk in the country that I'm running away from. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Well, well, let me put it this way. He's on death row, so whatever he did, he got caught. If you're not smart enough to avoid the police, you're probably not smart enough to avoid them again. Yeah. He could have run to Somalia. <laughs> where the pirates are? Where the pirates are, and where apparently the reason there's pirates is because there's no government at all. There was a government. There hasn't been a government in Somalia for a fairly long time. So it's just anarchy? Pretty much. Ever since the ruling party was deposed, there's really no consensus as to what the actual government of the country is. And so why don't we just go there and do something? Because the country's split into these five... No, I'm talking about you and me. Oh, the country's split into these five, like, fiefdoms, and they're run by these warlords, and they each have their own army. Oh, okay, so there's, there is someone in charge. Yeah, but there's no we more We can't Somalia. just go in and set up our own warlordness. No, but Somalia is just a bunch of little, like, bickering countries now. All right, all right what are you going to do? So after this whole pirate attack, the U.S. said, hey, uh, clean up your act, and Somalia said... <laughs> We're a bunch of warlords. What are you going to do? Uh, <laughs> we don't have ships. We don't care. Go away. We'll pirate you if you come near here. Help us. You can clear out the pirates. We won't stop you. Yeah, our pirates. Now, I wouldn't have even brought up the pirate attack. I mean, it that happens all the time. And it's not that big a deal. But, these but the were captain probably, was awesome. These, Again. This was probably the most interesting pirate attack in the last couple years. Yeah, there's some interesting pirate attacks. Yeah, this one was pretty interesting. I mean, the thing is, it was a cruise ship. It wasn't like a, a boat full of stuff. Yep, it was a cruise ship, and the pirates had uh, RPGs. Well, they always have RPGs. Yeah, and they fired a whole bunch of them at the cruise ship. And they always do that. That the it's not the part that separates. They really it. only succeeded in breaking a few windows. Well, no, they blew up one cabin, but no one was in it. No, one person was in it. She was taking a bath, so she didn't get hit by the shrapnel. That's not what I read. That's what I read. Uh, conflicting story. Ah, in fact, I'm looking at that story right now. There's another guy, he's a World War II veteran, and he was trying to take a picture of one of the pirates, and, quote, the man with the bazooka aimed it right at me, and I saw a big flash. <laughs> Needless to say, I dropped the camera and dived. The grenade struck two decks above and about four rooms further forward. I could tell the guy firing the bazooka was smiling. <laughs> Great. Apparently, the captain of the cruise ship tried to ram the pirates a couple times. Yep, and he totally ran away with his ultra-fast cruise ship. Yep, there was some quote where the captain says something to the effect of, I didn't know this thing could go that fast. Yeah, but the stories I read didn't have passengers doing stuff. It was like, all the passengers were shoved into the center of the ship, and the captain got everyone off the deck... And, you know, no one got hurt. And whatever. Yep, no one got hurt. They all got good stories. I imagine they all get refunds or something. Well, I imagine they're going to finish their cruise first. Yeah, well, the ship was kind of RPG'd. I think they have to put them on a different ship. Nah, it still works. Boats? Very hard to sink a boat, you know. Yeah, but there's That's rules. why you think about the Titanic. It sunk when it hit this iceberg. It's so hard to do. The iceberg was so big. Oh, my <laughs> God. I mean... You know, you hear, like, oil, like, spills. Here it, it is. Quote, so much. quote, a woman survived an explosion in her stateroom simply because she was taking a bath at the time. Others flung themselves to the floor to avoid bullets that were zipping through the ship. They were only gathered after the pirates attacked. Ah, uh, the story well, The story I read was, like, an RPG hit the boat and exploded, and it blew up a cabin, but no one was in it. Well, there was a woman in that cabin. Ah, uh, maybe it was a different cabin, two different RPGs, who knows? Yeah, yeah. So, uh... Some other pirates though, uh, went down today. Grokster's gone. Well, they were gone before. Now they're actually gone. They had to pay fifty million, and they're out of business. They're All right, no, it's one more P two P network that's gone. Luckily, we still have the Pirates Bay. Arr. Arr. Unlike the uh, Somalian pirates. Yeah, Pirates Bay has a. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's much better at pirating, and it doesn't kill people with RPGs. Ah, uh, unless they download Final Fantasy VII, but um, nah, that's bad. That 